Hi guys, you're welcome to the Laurel Studios. We'll be creating promo codes for Android app and in-app products in the Google Play Developer Console. To create promotions in your app, one can now generate and distribute promo codes to current and new users on Google Play to drive engagement. So this is done under the Promotions tab in the Developer Console. To create promotions, your app needs to be a paid app or have an in-app product. So right there on in your developer console, you have to select a paid app or an app that has in-app products or in-app billings. So I have an app right here that has uh, an in-app product, which is the in-app billing one I actually created for the tutorial in-app billings. So now it, you have to click on this right there on the uh, dashboard, the statistics, the user rating, finance, optimization. You get to the promotions. I click on the promotions tab. It take you to this kind of interface. So you can use promotions to give users a paid app or in-app products for free with a promo code. You can create promotions to reward loyal fans, acquire new users, and reconnect with previous users. You can see how uh, useful and, in, and uh, enormous ways you can actually use your promo code. So I'll actually be walking you through on how to create a promo code and uh, steps of how to distribute these promo codes to your users. First of all, let's create one. We're going to add a new promotion. In this uh, dialog, you have to accept the developer console promotional code terms of service. So click on accept. You have this uh, kind of interface. So what's the promo code we really want to give? Let's say I uh, want to give uh, 50. That's for the name of the promo code. You have to give a name to it. Let's say you want to give 50 free silver badge or badges. Alright, so one will be the start and the end date of the, the promo code. Uh, when, is it, when is it going to run? How long will it run? That's what this means. That's the start and the end date. So you have to pick uh, your calendar. Let's say it's starting by 5th of January. And it's going to elapse by March of January. That's like two months. And the time will be GMT plus one, which is for Amsterdam, uh, the Western African time, and also for room now we have the reward which is we have to select in our product is either you select an in app product or you select a paid app because this app is an uh, an app that has an in app purchase right inside it so that's why you only have this it's a, it's a free app but it has an in app product right inside so you must actually uh, have an an app that has either that is either paid or has an in-app product right inside it before you can use a promo code as i've said earlier so you're going to select the inner product and type in the inner product id which is cam dot example dot button click right so you're gonna and you're gonna click on get and you notice it brought down the inner billings uh price and the type of uh the billings it is which is the managed product you're gonna click on confirm so after doing that you have your status as on so the number of promo codes to generate just generate five you can generate more than that 
they after you create a promotion the number of promo codes cannot be changed you know so each app can have a combined total of 500 promo codes per quarter so this is just for demo purpose that's why i'm actually uh using five or oh, let me let me write 50. Let me write 50. that's cool so you're gonna click on create it said select a future date a future start date and time when we say a future start date the present date should be five okay so let's select a future date which will be let's start from seven all right that's that's okay let's click on create create the promo code can you notice the download link here so from this download you have the access to download the code itself so afterwards I'll be telling you how to distribute your promo code so let's click on the download to download the code You notice it is in csv format let's see maybe we can open it it's actually in csv format so you, you can op open it with a text file or a text editor where right? probably you can use a notepad plus plus or you can use uh some kind of text editor right there in your machine so how are you going to distribute this promo code no, you distribute your promo codes via your marketing channels, just such as the social networks, in email, on the web, to your app's beta tester, or in your app or game itself. So you can actually be right inside the game, just create a, a code right there, or let's say uh, a dialogue that will accept promo code. Or you can distribute it via social network, Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or through email to your users or on the web probably you have a web page that supports your application so users can redeem your promo codes in a number of ways which include from Google Play using the redeem menu option so you're gonna have this option in your Google Play whereby Google Play displays the application so you can actually redeem uh, the, 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 the badges from Google Play itself or from your app you can actually do that from your app thereby you're going to direct to the play checkout flow before being redirected back to your app or you can do it by following a link that embeds the code you know right inside it so we have a CSV file which is the code it's actually right here in my downloads is it the CSV file so you can decide to uh, get what is right inside it. Let me bring it out to the desktop. Let me see if I can edit with not plus 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 just to look at what is right there. Do you see this? Can you see the code? I actually generated 50. So you can see from 1 to 50. So you can decide uh, to send this code to different users. You know you can use it as a marketing tool for your application uh, you can decide to attach it to some messages we have email or you can uh, actually create a dialogue for uh, redeeming this code right in your application or you can do that through Google Play when a user is trying to download the app they have the option to redeem this code so 